toes. Get in So we're trying to recreate as best we can uh, a baseball game from 1864. Um, some of the rule differences are nobody's wearing gloves, gloves weren't invented yet. Catchers started wearing gloves in the 1870s, and then fielders started wearing gloves in the 1880s. Um, an out can be recorded, obviously, if you catch it in the air or on one bounce, which uh, leads to some very interesting plays, as, as you guys will see. Um, any ball that hits fair uh, and then goes foul is still a fair ball. Um, the pitcher is throwing un like underhand from 45 feet away as opposed to overhand um, from 60 feet 6 inches that it is today. Uh, so some of the, like those are some of the major rules. The ball that we use is a little bit different, and the bats are wood and a little bit heavier than a modern baseball bat. Yeah, he invited me to a game one time here at the farm, and uh, I just fell in love with it. And he said, uh, you know, why don't you come and play with us? Uh, so I have been playing part-time, you know, for, for the uh, New, uh, Newburyport Clam Diggers, and uh, it's my still my connection with baseball, mm -hmm. which you know, which I love, which I played little league when I was a kid, and um, it's still in my blood, and I get to see my son play mm -hmm. still. But now he manages me. I used to manage him, so it's been a role reversal. <laughs> so you're the manager for the New Report Clam Diggers? Yep, so I, uh, I'm the captain of the Clam Diggers, <laughs> nicknamed Captain Clam, so um, <laughs> that one's kind of stuck. But it's been good, hey. CC for short. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Brian. There you go. Get it, Drew. He's not on the ball. Go in and out, too.